I, I wrote a song about how to spot who's cheating on you. Right. So these are the signs, Chelsea and Kyle. <laughs> listen up now, listen up good, or if you're really into grammar, listen up well. Listen about your partner, and here's how to know if they are cheating on you. The signs are everywhere, guys. Can you see them? You think your partner's perfect, that's not true. That they'd never cheat on you. You should be suspicious, trust is fictitious. I couldn't find a third word that rhymes. <laughs> They're getting distant, clues everywhere. Starting to text like they don't care. You know they are losing infatuation when sexting begins to have proper punctuation. <laughs> Nothing signifies the end of a flame like a semicolon. <laughs> Here's what else to look out for. If they have a phone, they're cheating. <laughs> Who else do they need to talk to? You're right there. <laughs> and if they go to work, they're cheating. <laughs> Why are they putting in work in something that's not your relationship? That's weird. <laughs> and if they go poo, they're cheating. <laughs> that's them trying to hide the evidence of their dinner date last night. Got you. <laughs> and if they wear a seatbelt, definitely cheating. Who are you trying to stay alive for? That's suspicious. I noticed everybody was nodding their heads, yes. Especially you, you're like, that's my life. I hate to break it to you, but you're all being cheated on. You being play player. This is a 90s reference. I want you to do me a favor. I want you all to turn to your partners after the show and just ask them if they're cheating on you. Just see how they react. Look into their eyes. The answer's hidden in their eyes. If they look away, they're guilty because they're cheating. But if they look at you, they're also cheating but okay with it. And if they blink, they're cheating but have dry eyes. From all of the crying because of how guilty they are. And if they don't blink, but they're in a coma, they put themselves there because they don't know how to lie to you. Comas are red flags break up with them. <laughs> Technically, these are all allegations, and maybe we're just overreacting. Maybe we should just have open conversations and let our partners know how we feel, right? Or you could not do anything and just spiral. <laughs> you know what else you can do, guys? Spiral. Follow them wherever they go and ambush them like, Hey babe, who's this you're having lunch with? Oh, this is your mom. This is your mom. Your mom. Yeah, why don't you and your mom come and take a DNA test with me, you fucking liars? Or you can stalk their Instagram and see everyone that they follow. Hey babe, I noticed you followed Kim Kardashian last week. How long have you two been fucking? Don't worry, it's not intense to confront somebody without any evidence. The less you have, the better. Because they'll still call you crazy. But statistically, one of those times will be right. Or maybe you can just let it go, Chelsea and Kyle. It's better to never ever bring it up because they'll never admit to cheating on you. So just do the healthy thing. Be the bigger person and cheat on them too. <laughs> cheat on them. That's all you gotta do.